How's it going YouTube? Welcome to a mini tutorial on how to do um, Uni Windows symbol linking. So the goal of this will allow you to have two projects that run in two separate uh, Uni window instances and this is pretty handy for when you're doing networking based projects. So I'm just in UniHub right now. I'm going to create a demo project and I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it in a different folder. It's not my C drive and then if you have any questions on how to switch drives and stuff, then you'll be able to do that. Okay, so now that we have Uni open, I'm just going to create um, some different folders that you typically would have in a project. So I'm going to go create folders, I'll say code, and then maybe I'll have a folder in here called utility. And then we'll just make a script. And this is just mainly to show the process of how files and stuff get carried over. Okay, so we'd assume that this project is the project that we're gonna be start working with. And if you have a project that's already started or you are following my tutorial series, th then this process will still work for you. It doesn't have to be a brand new project at all. Okay, so we're actually gonna close out of this project. So now that's all been created, you can close out. And we can open the folder. So I'm currently in my D drive and I made a folder called UD Demo Project. So I'm just gonna create another folder that's in line with this. And I'm gonna call it Unity underscore demo underscore project. And then I like to use the suffix symbol link um, just to show that it's like the same project just that's how it's being done is by a symbol link I'm just gonna refresh my windows here and then we should have two folders if, if you want to call this something else that is totally up to you it doesn't have to be called this way um, it's 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 totally up to you so the goal for this is we're gonna copy a couple folders so we're gonna be copying the assets folder the packages folder and the project settings folder. So the library folder, this is all your metadata and stuff, and this can be built um, for each project or something. And this is something that if you're using Git or an SVN or whatever as well, you wouldn't you wouldn't commit the library files. Okay, and then if we go to our symbol link folder, everything's blank. So our goal is to copy or create a symbol link for those three packages. And if you're working with uh, the Steam library and you have an individual uh, Steam app ID.txt, um, then you can use from my second part video, there is a little uh, single file link there as well. And maybe just for show, I will actually make a text document. We'll call this um, Steam app ID. So this, this would give you. Um, a sample that if you had these single off files that had to also be carried over, then this is how you could do it as well because it's a different command. So we're going to open command prompt. If uh, you probably won't have that linked, you can just type in CMD in your search there and you get uh, the nice handy command prompt. So currently we're in our C drive and I need to navigate to my D drive. So I'm going to do D colon. That'll change me to my D drive. And then what we're going to do, how's it going guys? Um, sorry, I just had to make a little cut there. I had to uh, figure out what the issue was. So I went ahead and did the assets and I'm going to go and show you guys the next folders. Um, so just to show you that it is uh, linked, if I go into assets here, you'll see code and scenes. And the, uh, the objective of this whole thing is that I'm able to change stuff in the, in the normal project and then the symbol link would open. So we're going to go back to this folder. Make sure you do have this copied. And I've already done assets. And if you haven't done assets, um, just follow the same process I'm going to do for packages. Just call it assets. So we're going to do mk link and slash d. So it's a forward slash d. You're going to hit say packages. And then I'm going to paste the link to the start of our folder. And what I was doing wrong before is I was doing a forward slash when you actually need to do a backslash and then write down packages again. So it's mklink forward slash d, the name of the folder that we're trying to copy, which is packages with a capital P, the folder where it's originally coming from, backslash the folder name again. And then we'll hit enter, and you'll get a symbol link created for packages, and it'll tell you that it's gonna go to, 
It's between the packages folder in this drive and it's linking to our original project packages. And then the last one we're gonna do is project settings. So we're gonna say MK link forward slash D and we're gonna say project settings. Paste the folder backslash project settings and take your time doing this. Um, make sure that it is all spelled out correct, okay? And then the last one we're gonna do is we're gonna do the single file, okay? So the way to do the single file is that we don't put the slash D. So it's just MK link, the name of the file. So we're gonna say steam app id.txt. Sorry, just steam app id.txt. We're gonna paste backslash and then we're going to do the same here. And it's going to say a symbol link was created for steamapp.txt. And it's linking to our original folder, txt. So if I, I'm going to do Windows E, which brings up another one of these folders. And I'm going to bring in the project here. I'm going to go to the symbol link project. So we have our symbol link project here and our uni project here. And if we open this up, uh, this is going to be blank. Okay. And if we edit something, so this is getting added on the main project, we'll say hello world. We'll do a control S, we'll save. And now if you open this on the symbol link, it's now hello world. Okay. So what does this mean for us? Is that we can go into the Unity Hub here. We can open up our demo project we can go into the Unity Hub again. And we're gonna hit uh, File Open. We're gonna go into my D drive where I have the project. You're gonna select the start of the folder of the symbol link. And we'll hit Select Folder and it'll say that it's looking for a specific version of Unity, mine is 2018.2.3. Okay, so now we're back. Um, the other projects imported. So right now we have Unity Demo Project and Unity Demo Project Symbol Link. So let's show the benefits of kind of what's handy. So it's a little hard to see the screen, um, but I kind of want to show both screens. Um, and the purpose is just kind of show a simple change. So right now, if we have a sample scene and we open sample scene here, we have nothing more than a camera and a light. So if I go into here on, so we're always working in our main project. Don't change things in the symbol link project. Always edit the main project, okay? So we're going to go into here, we're going to say a 3D cube, and it's going to be in the center of our screen, okay? And if we control S that, so now it's saved, and we click into this window, it will detect that if you have the scene open, you're going to get a prompt like this, where it says that the scene's been modified externally and we need to reload. Just make sure you hit reload. Otherwise, it'll just do a standard, hey, we're loading in new assets and stuff. So if you're bringing in different art, and that, when you come over to the symbol link project, it will have to load in that art as well. And you'll see that it now brings over the cube. So how this is handy is in networking, you might run into issues where when a second player joins, it's causing issues. And being able to use the console and breakpoints and anything that you'd use normally for debugging on a second player is quite handy. It also saves you time that you don't have to make builds which also will save you time. So hopefully that kind of goes over the explanation. So this is Windows based. Um, sorry for Mac and Linux users. Hey everyone, if you guys liked the video, make sure you guys click that subscribe button, give it a like, and make sure to comment. It really helps out. And if you guys are looking to support the project further, I also have my Patreon, which will be linked in the description down below. Thank you and have a good day.